Hey, what's up? My name is David Wickham. I teach seventh grade U.S. history in Fairfax County in Northern Virginia, and this is my level two certification uh, video. Feel free to follow me at Mr. Wickham LB on Twitter or on Instagram or even Snapchat. All right, let's get going. <clears throat> I'd like to start with just a few activities that I've used during Flipgrid this past school year that I like. <clears throat> My school bought Flipgrid for me in February, and now that it's free for all, I'm so excited because even more people will be able to use Flipgrid at my school. This first activity was What a Wonderful what a wonderful world by Louis Armstrong. When we were studying the 1920s and talking about the Harlem Renaissance, one of the songs we listened to was Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. <clears throat> Excuse me. So at home, I just asked my students to uh, tell me what their favorite line and why, and they would have to watch some other classmates' videos. The video that I embedded right here was a pretty cool hand puppet video of What a Wonderful World. The second video deals with the blues. So it's about the same time period during the Harlem Renaissance. We were listening to jazz and blues music. And then I asked my students to create their own blues song. It could be um, anything they wanted. It could be funny, something like the homework blues or the little sister, little brother blues, or I'm tired of my history teacher giving me homework blues, or it could be something serious. It was totally up to them. All I asked was it had to be at least 16 lines long, and there had to be a rhyme scheme because in English they were going over poetry and talk, discussing rhyme scheme. Some students actually sang their blue song, and others, they asked if they could just recite it, and I said, of course. I loved being able to hear their blues, whether it was serious or funny lyrics. These were some awesome activities. The third one was another atomic bomb mini PBL or project-based learning during World War II as we were learning about dropping the atomic bombs on Japan, this PBL, they had to research and then come up with their own opinion and, and then post three videos. The first video was if they believed the United States should drop a third atomic bomb on Japan and why. I would really stress to them that they had to prove their point and have background information. Their second video was to point out the weaknesses in the other views argument. Why is that view wrong? And their third video was to reply to a classmate and state whether they agreed or disagreed with them and why. All three of these activities I posted on what's called the Topic Discovery Library. Do you need help with Flipgrid ideas or do you want to post your ideas to the community? All you have to do is click that Discovery button that the red arrows are pointing to to check out other topics that other Flipgrid users have posted or to the right that that plus add to discovery, you can add your own topics in there to help other teachers as well. Definitely need to follow Flipgrid for ideas and connect with other Flipgrid users in the community on Twitter. Flipgrid's Twitter account is very active. They answer all my questions right away. They, they're very responsive. And don't forget to use that hashtag FlipgridFever whenever you post things. I absolutely love, love, love using Flipgrid. And the main reason why is it gives student voice. They are the stars. It lets my students know that I care about their thoughts and opinions. They're the ones leading the class and posting these videos. And I want to hear what they think on everything. It also helps some students that are nervous about speaking in class. You can do, you can answer the Flipgrid at home where you feel more comfortable. Those shy students may, do, may not want to speak up in the middle of class with 30 other students staring at them. They might want to do it at home in their room. I've had a lot of students do some pretty cool responses on playgrounds or in the woods or in different, different areas uh, like Disney World even. And that was just awesome videos to see. These are two um, <clears throat> two quotes from students that we use that when we use Flipgrid this past year that I'd like to share with you. The first one, the student said, I like using Flipgrid in class because I can express myself easier than a writing assignment. And I like knowing Mr. Wickham and my classmates will watch my videos and reply. It's fun. And the second student, and I love this quote, the student said, I love using Flipgrid because it makes me feel like a celebrity. And that's, that's it right there. They felt like the star. They felt uh, some videos, it was, they were vlogging and they were the YouTube or Twitter or social mogul sensation. And it was pretty cool to see them really, you know, express themselves freely. 
Also, I just I love that I, I believe Flipgrid builds positive relationships with my students and with the community as a whole. I think this is a great tool that student that students and teachers can use. Yes, for content, but also for building these positive relationships. I have some ideas that I like to incorporate next year. Um, there, here's three of them. The first one, the blue, teacher welcome and introductions. I teach at a secondary school that's seventh through twelfth grade. So these seventh graders, some of them are pretty nervous about being in a school with four thousand other students and eighteen year olds walk in the halls. So and same with their parents and families. So I've already reached out to the teachers in my interdisciplinary team. And we're going to create mini intro or bios about us and basically welcoming the student and their families to our school. And I think that might be able to ease the transition for my students and for these families. The second one in the middle, the yellow, I'd also like to use Flipgrid, whether it's just to say happy birthday or have student other students, their classmates say happy birthday to them and also leaving positive affirmation, things that I've noticed. Maybe they need Maybe they're going through a tough time and they need a quick little pick me up, or maybe they just need to know that I care and want the best for them, something positive. And the last one to the right in purple is parent involvement. I think this is really going to help create a good class culture and environment by having the parents involved. I've seen some other posts of how Flipgrid can be used to incorporate parents in the classroom, whether they see the things the students are doing. Um, or just to let them know what's happening in class and how great their kids are. And I really think that's going to help my overall classroom culture. Well, you know what? Thank you for watching. I, like I said, I'm just a huge champion of Flipgrid. I think everyone should be using it. There's so many different ways to be using it, but the most important is that students are going to feel um, appreciated and heard in your class. So make sure you use that Flipgrid fever. Uh, again, you can follow me at Mr. Wickham LB and happy flip gridding. All right. Have a great day. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.